Okay, so we're just going to go in and import some addresses into the PHP list. Um, so the first thing is to format our spreadsheet. Just delete any cells that we don't need. Um, we're going to... can't get rid of these ones, but we'll just tidy up the um, order of the columns and the titles. So just put the correct title in the column, first name and email. Maybe we'll change the order. Put the email after the first name. So we've got the first name and then the email. These are the main ones you'll need when you're using PHP list. Just checking that the cells are got the valid data. Nothing incorrect in there. So it all looks pretty good. So what we're going to do shortly, we're just going to export this, uh, we're just going to save in the correct format for importing to PHP list, which is the tab delimited format. Uh, so just go save as and other formats. This is in Excel 97. Um, we can save it as a tab delimited format. So it'll be text with tab delimited. Then when we go to edit that, then when we go to import that into the PHP list, it's in the correct format, which is easy to import. Uh, just give it a name that you'll recognise. Uh, save it as a text file, very simple text file. Um, you don't, you only need to save that once. Um, you don't need to save the original file unless you want to keep that. So just cancel out of that. Uh, so now you've got a text file saved. Um, jump over to the account in PHP list. Um, which is a pretty standard version of PHP list here. We've got a members list already set up. Uh, we're just going to go in there um, into the import function, pick the first option, um, then we're going to, in the, in the file to import, we're just going to browse for that text file we just created. So go to the same folder and just go in there and grab that file, import that. Now just uh, test the output um, admit an invalid email is there a waste of time and just go in there make the, make them confirmed immediately because that means you'll be able to send the emails to them so just quickly check through there they all look good they all look good in the right format so then you can confirm the import and that'll import them into the PHP list just when you do import them just make sure you select the list that you want to import into. If you've got several lists set up, it'll give you the option of importing into different lists. Okay, so it looks good. It's giving us the results of the import and it's already sent me an email of the status of the import, so that's good news. Uh, now what we're just going to do is um, we're just going to log in as the super admin to um, just do some rec reconcile the users, um, make sure they're receiving HTML format. Um, this is just a simple way you can do it in the import, but we're just going to simply do that now as a follow up. So, mark all users to receive HTML, and that's just done all the users we just added, um, and then mark all uh, users confirmed. They should already be confirmed, there might be a few there. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you can actually log out, log back in as the user, and from there you can then view your users in lists. You can view the members. It shows up the members are added. You can view the members. Um, if there's any that look invalid, you can just delete those manually. Um, and then we can go to the we can then go to the compose message and we'll be able to send out to that list without any trouble at all. So that's that's the rundown on the easy way to import your emails into PHP list. Happy emailing.